Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about getting ready for and taking the Educator Level 1 exam. Now, we've had many questions about the different certifications and how you can prepare by yourselves. Well, in this video, we're going to try our best to answer all those questions. Now, the first thing you need to know is that the Educator Level 1 covers a range of different applications. Now, the main use case for this certification is a teacher who's in the classroom using these Google tools. Now, even if you're already an experienced user of these tools, the Educator Level 1 certification will show you many things that you might not have been aware of. Now, I personally have learned a lot from doing these certifications, from not only going through them myself, but also revisiting these over time, because there are always new changes coming to these platforms. Now, the best place to get started is, of course, on the Google platform. Now, what you want to do is you want to open up your browser and you want to find teachercenter.withgoogle.com. Now, this website is where Google has all their training materials and they will walk you through everything you need to know about getting ready for a certification. Now, once you're on this platform, you want to find that button that says training. Now, don't go anywhere else yet. Find the training button and then select the first option. Now, this is the option on the left and this is where you can select fundamentals training. Now you will have noticed that there is also a green at the top and this is where you can get some videos sent to you and these videos are not only a great way of getting introduced to little tips and tricks but again it prepares you for the level one certification. Now once you're in that fundamentals training you will be walked through many different units. Make sure that you're signed into your Google account because this way Google is going to keep track of your progress and you can make sure that when you return to the platform, you've remembered where you left off. Now you're going to walk through the units one at a time and at the end of a unit, you will be asked some questions and go ahead and jot down your ideas. Now answer these questions and these are all personal questions about how you might use the tools in your classroom and don't worry, this information is not shared with anyone else. Then at the end of each unit, you will get some multiple choice questions. Now this is very similar to when you're actually taking the Educator Level 1 exam because the Educator Level 1 exam has a multiple choice section to it. And these multiple choice questions are a great preparation for that part of the exam. Go ahead and answer them to the best of your ability and at the end you will be told which questions you've answered correctly and which ones you might want to review again. Now once you've gone through all the training and you've answered all the multiple questions and you've done all the practice in your own domain, you're ready to take the exam. So where do we take that exam? We go to the top of this page and we find certifications. Once you're there, you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the level one certification. Click on learn more and then you're going to be able to register for the exam. Go ahead and register for an exam, but make sure that you use your own personal Gmail account for this. Otherwise, your school account will be the account that is certified. Let's say that you're changing schools or you're changing email addresses. Well, you no longer have that certification attached to your name. So make sure that you're using your personal Gmail account and that you are getting certified. Otherwise, your school account will be getting the certification. Now, let's say that your school has purchased the exam for you or they are paying for this exam. Then you might want to check with your district or school just to make sure that you are registering the correct account. Some schools might have the expectation that you get certified using your school account if the school has purchased this for you. If you are able to use your personal account then by all means do that. Now once you've clicked on register go ahead and fill out all the information and make sure that everything is 100% correct because this certification will be attached to your name and so we need to get everything correct. Now, in order to make sure that you're not leaking any of the questions or any of the answers for the exam, you will be asked to sign an NDA or non-disclosure agreement. Now, this means that you are not allowed to share what happened on the exam with any outsiders. Go ahead and make sure that you have that all signed and then you can proceed. Now, if Google does find out that at any point in time you've breached the NDA or non-disclosure agreement, then you will be banned from ever taking any other Google exams. So make sure that you take this seriously and that you are not leaking any of the questions or any of the answers to the others. Now, when you're taking the exam, there's a couple of things you need to make sure of. First of all, you need to use the most up-to-date browser and that is the Chrome browser. Now, this will give you the best experience and it also ensures that everything you see is the way Google wants it to be. 
In addition to this, you have to use a device that has a webcam. Now, the reason Google asks you to have a webcam is so that it can be proctored and they can make sure that you are the one taking the actual exam and not someone else who's taken multiple other exams. Now, it's not going to be watched live or anything like that, but the system is going to take pictures of you at random intervals and then these are used to verify that you are taking the exam. Once you have been certified, this will be valid for three years or 36 months, and then you will have to recertify. Now, the reason for this is because Google is constantly rolling out new features and updating their products. So if you want to stay up to date, well, then you will have to get recertified. Your original certification is valid for three years. And then, yes, there's also a small cost attached to this. The Google Certified Educator Level 1 costs you 10 US dollars. Now that's all for the certified level one. The certified level two will cost you 25 US dollars. You can retake the exam in case you failed, but you will have to wait a couple of days. If you fail the first time, you will have to wait 14 days and then you can retake the exam. Let's say that you also fail that second attempt, then you will have to wait 60 days before you can retake the exam. Now let's say that even that third time you're not passing the exam, you will have to wait a full year before you can retake it. And that's all there is to know about the Certified Educator Level 1 exam. Now, if you are a bit anxious about this, don't forget, you can scroll down to that description right now and you'll see a link to our Apps Events page. We run various boot camps around the world and we will walk you through all the steps you need in order to prepare you for this exam. In addition to coming to the bootcamp and being trained by a trainer, you will also be given a voucher that will allow you to take this exam free of charge. I hope you found this tips and tricks video with Apps Events and Acer on the Educator Level 1 certification useful. Let me know in the comment section below if you are already an Educator Level 1, if you're interested in it, and what do you think are the main benefits of being a certified educator? I look forward to reading those comments, replying to them, and I thank you for watching. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer.